हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल बीइंग बायोटेक्निकल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हर्शी एंड चेज एक्सपेरिमेंट सो ऑल्फर्ड हर्शी एंड मार्था चेज वेर टू साइंटिस्ट्स हुज एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉज पब्लिश्ड इन द ईयर 1952 एंड दैट एक्सपेरिमेंट प्रूव दैट डीएनए इज द जेनेटिक मेटीरियल Now in the previous video we discussed about Griffith's experiment and that experiment was made in the year 1928 Griffith's experiment also proved that DNA is the genetic material but in 1928 when Griffith's experiment was published then the scientific community didn't accepted his experiment or they were not convinced by the results of that experiment as science was not that developed during that time so in the year 1952 when hershey and chase published the result of their experiment which again proved that dna is the genetic material after which the scientific community was fully convinced so let's see what exactly was the experiment made by hershey and chase so hershey and chase used radio isotopes in their experiment now as we know that radio isotopes are unstable form of chemical elements that releases radiation as it breaks down to become more stable and they used bacteriophages and bacteriophages are viruses that infects bacteria so as we know that viruses are of many different categories few viruses infects animal few virus infect plants and those that infect bacteria are known as bacteriophages or simply as phage viruses so as we know that a virus has a capsid head a collar sheath base plate and a tail fiber in its body or its structure and the head portion of the virus contains dna so that the virus is made up of only two things one is a protein and the other is dna so in order to find out which one of them is the genetic material what hershey and chase did is that they took two radio isotopes first is sulfur isotope and the other is phosphorus isotope the idea beside choosing these two isotopes was that sulfur is the main portion making protein but phosphorus is not present in protein and similarly phosphorus is present in dna but sulfur is not present in dna so they chose S35 as sulfur isotope and P32 as phosphorus isotope so hershey and chase grew some viruses in a medium that contained radioactive phosphorus and the viruses grown in this medium contained radioactive dna similarly they grew some viruses in medium that contained radioactive sulfur and those viruses grown in that medium contained radioactive protein and then they allowed these viruses to infect bacteria but separately now the bacteria that the viruses were allowed to infect was e coli and after infection the viruses were removed from the bacteria and the bacteria were tested for radioactivity after which it was observed that the dna which was present in the virus having radioactive phosphorus was present in the bacteria which was allowed to be infected by the virus and protein was not found in any of the bacteria hence this indicated that dna was passed to bacteria from viruses which also means that protein was not passed from viruses 
to the bacteria after this it was concluded that dna is the genetic material that passes from viruses to bacteria so with this our topic hershey and chase experiment is over if you found this video informative then please do hit the like icon and don't forget to subscribe to